Hello. So I am back home, but today has been an absolute, <laughs> it's been a lot. Um, and so um, I am going to do the, the, the thing I've been doing, which is these daily games, but I'm doing it from my computer. Um, just the New York Times games, Wordle, Connections, Mini Crossword, and Strands um, for Saturday, uh, September 21st. Going to get that out. I'm going to get some rest. And then tomorrow I will post a video about everything that was going on. Uh, as well as hopefully um, start easing back into at least my normal video schedule. Um, but I'm not going to bury the lead. I'll have a video with a lot more details tomorrow, but I have a new daughter. <laughs> Her name is Lillian, uh, Lily for short. And um, yes, a natural birth, not adopted. Uh, my wife was pregnant. I just never told you. <laughs> So the unexpected surprise was uh, that Lily came early. Um, Erica was 37 weeks. Uh, we were expecting her to induce her at 39 weeks, but there were some complications. Um, so I will put up a picture of Lily so you can see her, and tomorrow I will do a more detailed uh, video, but I just I don't have the energy right now. So as you can imagine, I will need to ease back into making these videos. Luckily, I do have paternity leave. Um, and so that will help quite a bit uh, from my normal job, and I am going to ease back in. I'm not going to try to push myself too much because my main priority is caring for <laughs> Lily, who is a newborn baby. So, all right. Well, let's uh, let's get to it. So let's do Wordle. I'm not going to deal with suggestions and everything right now. We'll try to ease back into that, but for now, I will continue to start with Trace. So uh, let's do that. Trace here. Making sure I'm recording. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, trace. Ooh, okay, so we have an E. Um, I want to try the E in the middle, because E fourth really is common because of ER words. There And ED and ES mostly aren't on the answer list. Although we did recently have a non-answer list word, so you can't really depend on that answer list too much, although it still seems to be mostly words on that list. So we'll see what goes, what happens in the future. Um, I'm thinking shelf. It gets the S and the L. It doesn't get the N. But you know what? I thought of shelf. I think it's pretty good. Let's just give it a try. All right. We do start with S. I'm thinking SE then. I mean, we could still have the E fourth, but let's see if there's an SE word that makes any sense. Um, honestly, I'm not, I'm not really seeing one. I'd much rather do something like SP or SN. And then E fourth, though. Hmm. What if I don't put that N there yet, and I just put the E here? What would we do? Would we do like E-N? Hmm. See, I can't do... I guess I could do another E here, but I mean, we could do plenty of vowels here. S-I something E. I mean, I guess it could be seven. I mean, that tests both the last places for E, I suppose. Not that we really need to. Um, okay, I'm going to go for seven. Oh, hey, seven and three. Nice. At least it wasn't seven and seven. <laughs> the numbers always trip me up. I mean, I am actually curious what else was left here, and I am on my computer, so I will load up Wordlebot and uh, we'll see what it has to say. Okay, Wordlebot. Um, we started with trace, and we just got the e. So it suggested Leben. Interesting. It wants that double e. Maybe trying to locate the e isn't such a bad idea. Like nothing on here is like a real word. <laughs> All right, what did I do? I did shelf, and then we got yellow and green. All right, so answer list, semen. That would have been <laughs> interesting. Uh, seven, sinew, and spied. Interesting. One of the few past tenses that survived the calling because SPI and SPIE are not words. Um, all right, well, um, so I want a one and four. I don't think I would have guessed semen unless forced to. Let's see. There's a bunch in here that are just E S E D, as I said, that just all got nixed from the answer list. Cool. So I got a little bit lucky. Um, it would have done Leben, which gets you all that. And then it's semen or seven. All right. Cool. And then from Salé, it gets the S and the E. Then it does spine or snipe, both equally good because they're anagrams. Um, and we get that. Um, what did I mess up? Seven, right? S E V E N. Why was seven available here? Oh, because the E is green there. Duh. Okay. Sorry. Then it does sewer. Interesting. 
and we get that <laughs> again down to C min or seven. All right. So 50% chance for it to get it in three or four, depending on which one it picks. Okay, cool. Um, all right, well, let's move on. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Real, medium, impressive, exclusive, nice, rare, awful, mystic, way, well done. I don't like when it's two words. Bloody, I mean, well done and bloody and rare really make me think of how meat is cooked, medium, but they're also right next to each other. So I'm wondering if that's a red herring. Let's continue. Limited Oracle Props, Collectible Psychic. So bloody, well done, rare, and medium are would definitely be a category for how you cook your steak, right? But it's all in the same column here. I'm gonna hold off on that just because it's it's in it's in the red herring position, right? They're too close to each other. Um so let's just find other categories. You know what? Maybe these each are all their own category. Because we have well done and impressive. Um, and nice. Like things you can compliment someone when they do a good job on something. Well done. Nice. Impressive. Um, props. Let's give that a try. Yes. Okay. Ooh. And I got a blue shirt on again. Um, this is my blue shirt with a little bit of patterning on it. <laughs> all right. Great job. Well, thank you. Thank you. I think I did a great job as well, avoiding that red herring. Um, okay, so let's look at rare then. Collectible, a rare, a collectible, limited. This is exclusive. Yeah, I think this is it. This is probably yellow. Oh, it's green. Special edition adjectives. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's next? Um, Psychic, mystic, medium, and oracle are all psychic y people. Clairvoyant, and then way, awful, bloody, and real. These are intensifiers. Extremely. Okay, sure. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, perfect. Not reverse rainbow, but yeah, still pretty good. Um, you know what? I will check the Wordlebot on this as well. Not the Wordlebot, the Connections uh, bot on this to see. Because I am curious, like, the percentage of people who made that first mistake. All right, how did we do? Solve rate, 88%. It is a 1 out of 5. So everyone solved it. 41% got... So, oh, okay. So 41% of players had no mistakes. So you saw through the red herring. Or you saw something else first. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, 96. 1 in 28 uniqueness. Not very unique at all. Um, so. I found great job first, which is fun. Um, only 20%. Interesting that purple was still 1% of people. Uh, most people got yellow first. And so that would explain, like, as soon as you get one of them, then suddenly you don't have the stake things anymore. Um, second was green, along with me. Third was blue. And then ever. Okay, ooh, is ever new? Or have I just not looked at that? So, interesting. If you failed, it's because you failed on distinguishing blue from purple. Interesting. I wonder why. All right, and of course, 39% of people made the mistake of steak preparations. <laughs> That's what they wanted. Okay, so people, and then all the other mistakes are distinguishing blue from purple. Real, way, awful, bloody. Just trying all four of the purples with impressive, nice, well done. So it's people who don't know that props means that because it's a bit of a sling. Um, like props to you for completing that. Interesting. So if you don't know that slang, you're going to try these purples and you're going to make those mistakes. Okay, well, that explains that. Um, we'll just flip through these for people who like to see them. Alrighty, cool. Well, let's move on to the mini. All right, this is the mini for Saturday, September 21st. Uh, let's go. Cover as a birthday present. Wrap. Laid back. Like relaxed. I'm not sure what word goes there. Hawaii and Tennessee are the only two U.S. states whose names end in doubled letters, for example. Fact, factoid? Um, fun fact? I don't, I don't know what they're going for there quit one's job to i mean retiring is technically quitting um hmm 
Let's not put retire in though. Oliver Twist Novelist. Ooh, I don't remember. Do unto blank. Start of the golden rule. Others. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Interestingly, the Jewish version of that is don't do unto others as you wouldn't have done unto you. Which one do you like better? Uh, if you like either of them. Bye bye. Um, a war of wa. Adieu. <laughs> I don't know. What maker's mark made its mark in. I don't know what maker's mark is. Sounds like something from D&D. <laughs> Hunter's mark. <laughs> Coastal region of southeast French and French and northwest Italy. Coastal region of south southeast France, northwest Italy. I don't know what that region's called. Incoming American geography comments. Um puts in a row. Wait. Isn't France to Italy, isn't Switzerland sitting right there? Puts in a row. Arranges? Uh, that, uh, that doesn't fit. Arrays, maybe? I gotta put something. Uh, <laughs> putting something wrong is worse, but... Social engagements. Party? Uh, it's plural. That makes me think this isn't a Y. Unless it's a, a, a non... Uh, unless it's a different kind of plural that doesn't end an S. Nativity scene. I mean, I know what a nativity scene is, but it's like a Christmas thing you put with Jesus and Mary and the wise men. I don't know what word they're going for there. Lacking originality. Why is this so hard? Lacking originality. Um, I don't know what word they want. Two in Tijuana, so dos. It's Spanish for two. Uh, laid back. Can I get any of this? Let's see. Let's look at this. Oliver Twist novelist. Maybe with more letters it'll come to me, but I don't remember. Bye bye. Uh, um, it's not a do you. It starts with S. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs> that doesn't start. See ya. Maybe it is see ya. Okay. What maker's mark made its mark in? I don't know what that is. Coastal region. Riviera. Maybe. Is that how you spell that? Puts in a row. I'm going to put arrays back, maybe? Social engagements. OK. Can I get any of these acrosses? Laid back. VR is weird. Hawaii and Tennessee are the only two US states whose names end in doubled letters. For example, I don't think it's arrays. But I also don't know what this is. Quit one's job. Maybe it is retire. Lacking originality. Trite, maybe? Um, for example, trivia? OK. Social engagements. Ooh, I don't. Maybe retire is wrong. Because I don't know what this is. Laid back. Can I get this nativity scene? I, I just don't know the word for this. What makers? What makers mark made its mark in? Puts in a row. Ooh, we have an I there now. I don't know. Oh crap! Four forty. Social engagements. This is not my puzzle. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put retire in here. And we're going to check her. Oops. OK, the E was right. Um, everything else was right, which is good. So what is this? Re quit one's job, re something. It's in a row. Laid back. I don't think this was enough. Oh, this is Dickens. Dickens wrote Oliver Twist. What the heck is this word? R-E-C-H-E. It may not be a word I've heard before. Whiskey? Maker's Mark made his mark in? Whiskey, maybe? Resign? Social engagements. Plans? Lines? Chill. Yikes. What's a cresh? Creche? Cresh? I've not heard that word. Um. I think I went over everything else. 
All right, well, hopefully you did better than me. Let's uh, continue to Strands, our final game. Okay. Today's theme is I've got the music in me. Hmm, I've got the music in me. Let's look around the edges here. I don't know what this theme means. Um, you eat the music? <laughs> Eater? <laughs> um, banana? Banana. Can't make banana. I don't know. I've got the music in me. Is there like instruments or or is it is it like your voice, like vocal cords or composing? Okay, I clearly don't get it. Um, I am so tired. <laughs> well, let's let's get through this. Um, how do I do this? Stum stand stand. Got the music in me. Vial. Are, the, are those lyrics to something? I feel like they might be. I don't know what. I tried stone. It's not. <laughs> Tons. Vera? Terra? I have no idea. Um, banana. <laughs> Why is banana here, almost here? Bananera. Bananeria. I don't know what's going on here. I might just hint right away, just because I'm, I'm not all there. Scene. Got the music in me. Guide? Can I make guide? I mean, only if I cross myself. Stadium? Stadium? Okay. Oh, it's places where you would play music. So, like, bars. Um, theater. Is theater here? The... Uh, sorry, British people. Um, the theater. Um, I'm curious if it would accept the British spelling. What, a, a concert hall? I mean, I see concert. It's got to be concert hall, right? But I can't actually do it. Oh, what else would it be? Huh. So where else do we play music? Festivals? Concert. So if concert's a thing, right? If I highlight this, concert something. What, what are we doing up here or down here? Arena. And... <laughs> what are we doing? Concert venue. Concert venue. We have one word left. This is all one word. Um, does it end in ing? No, it can't. Interesting. What is this? I I G H. Wait. Night nightclub nightclub. There we go. Okay, it's true. They all have music in them. <laughs> Concert venues. That's pretty fun. Um, probably if I was less tired, I would have understood that better. But at least I didn't have to use a hint. So there's that. All right, well, completely messy set of games today, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll try to make a video tomorrow where I go over everything that happened. Um, I wanted to wait until I was home because I feel like people could figure out what hospital I was at, and that made me very uncomfortable um, to thinking about that. So I wanted to make sure I was home first. But anyway, um, there was a uh, very nice nurse who actually recognized me, the second person in real life ever to recognize me for my um, <laughs> for my content. Um, the first one was a bagger at a uh, at a King Super, <laughs> and the second was one of the nurses, one of the very nice nurses who who helped us. So, all right, well, um, those are the games. Hope you enjoyed them, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.